Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. The last challenge we did was can you beat Pokemon Shield with only a Sizzlepeed? I really wanted to switch it up this week so I decided to do a different game. I explored YouTube and searched for a challenge I thought could be very interesting. So today we are here to see if I can beat Pokemon Emerald with only a weak bug Pokemon. Now what clarifies a weak bug Pokemon? Well in my definition, it is a base stage bug Pokemon. The only three bug types that are base stages are Nakata, Surska, and Wurmple in Pokemon Emerald. All three of these Pokemon have base total stats of under 300 which is really bad. Some positive things is that Surska and Nakata can learn a decent amount of moves to help us out, but Wurmple on the other hand literally can't learn anything besides Poison Sting, Tackle, and String Shot but he can still be a little helpful throughout the challenge. Now that we know what we're working with, now let's take a look at the rules. Rule one is that I can only use these three Pokemon throughout the challenge. Rule number two is that I cannot use any hacks to get through the game. Rule number three is that I cannot use any items in battle, but I can still use held items. Little side note, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because we do daily live streams and a ton of other Pokemon content. With all that out of the way, let's get into the challenge. With the Universal Randomizer, I replaced my Water Starter with Surskit. My plan was to start off the game with Surskit and then catch Wormpole in the first route and then Nakata near the first gym. I started off by grinding Spidey to level 8 and then taking on Brendan. We easily beat him with our move pool, a bubble, and quick attack. Right after, we had to go tell his dad that his son is a worthless trainer. He then rewards us with Pokeballs and it is time to catch our second Pokemon for this run. We catch a female Wormpole and name it Wimpy because, I mean, that's what it is. We then made our way throughout two and beat every trainer we came across. We soon arrive at Petalburg Woods and have to save a random man from Team Aqua. The Grunt's Poochie couldn't handle all the bubbles I was blowing at him and it falls. We get rewarded with a great ball from the random man. Thanks. I really needed this. Shortly after, we arrive in Rustboro City and head to Route 116 to catch our third and final teammate. And we get a crit and kill. Really, Spidey? We find another and it's male. So what should I name this? We have Wimpy and Spidey who are both females and this is male. So we take a look at Daddy's moves and he has Scratch, Leaf Life, and Harden. How fitting! I made sure to grind some of our Pokemon up before taking on the gym. Spidey was level 14, Whoopi was level 6, and Daddy was level 7 when we took on the gym. We start off the battle by destroying her two Geodudes with one bubble each. Her Nose Bass comes in and eats a bubble and almost one-shots us. I switch out to Wimpy to sack it off so I can get a clean switch into Nakata, who has Sand Attack to lower Nose Pass's accuracy. Wait, crap, I forgot to grind to level 9 for Sand Attack. <sighs> Well, long story short, I end up losing because Nosepass doesn't miss and his super effective rock type moves. We come back to the battle a few levels higher and this time we have Sand Attack. We lowered Nosepass's accuracy as much as possible and then spam attacks on it. Nankata ends up falling and then Wimpy comes in and we try to get Poison with Poison Sting but couldn't get it before Wimpy falls. It's up to Spidey to dodge a couple of attacks. We literally don't dodge any and lose. We eventually get a win using the strategy with some good RNG and get the first gym badge. Right after, we have to be a hero and save an old man's bird from the clutches of evil. Your friendly neighborhood Spidey does his job and rescues the bird. He thanks us by letting us use his bow to head to Durford where the second gym lies. Before we can head there, we had to deliver the Devon goods to Steven who is being emo in a cave for some reason. After giving him the goods, we take on all the trainers in the gym to get some levels. We take on the gym with Spidey at level 20, Wimpy and Daddy at level 15. We start off with Spidey and go for some bubbles. As we do that, he bulks up for a couple turns and then goes for Karate Chop and Seismic Toss. Then before we can take him out, he heals up and then takes out Spidey. Daddy was up next and falls as well since he literally has no moves still. Wimpy was last and was not able to take out the Machop either. Well, that was just not fun at all. I definitely needed to go about the battle completely different. I decided to grind Spidey to level 25 and the other two to level 17. And I also decided to start the battle off with Wimpy so we could possibly poison the Machop. While on the second turn of Poison Sting, we do get the poison. The Machop ends up taking out Wimpy since Wimpy is, well, Wimpy. We send in Spidey next who now has Bubble Beam when we finish off the Machop. Metatite was next so we sent out Daddy. This guy is dumb and literally spams Focus Punch but since we kept breaking his focus with Leech Life, it couldn't hit us. Since we weren't doing much damage and the fact that he kept healing this battle just wouldn't end. We eventually take out after a fat stall fest. Makuhita was up and goes for some bulk ups to start off but we spam some sand attacks so we will hopefully miss some attacks against Spidey. Spidey is able to finish him off with a few Bubble Beams with help from his berry. And with that, we get our second gym badge. It was time to head to Slayport and take on some more Team Aqua Grunts. We take them out easily and save the day once again with Spidey. After, we had to take on our rival. Somehow, he already had a Slugma when we haven't even gotten to that part of the region where you can catch one yet. 
But we take it out easy with Spidey. Then Wingle was next and also follows a Spidey. Groval comes in, so we send out Wormpole to do some damage with Poison Sting. Wormpole falls, but gets a ton of damage off for Daddy to come in and finish it off. After the battle, we arrive in Mauville, and we have to battle Wally so he can prove to his dad that he is a strong trainer. Well, it's hard to do that, Wally, when you only have a Ralts. Sorry. It was now time for the third gym. I knew this gym could be a problem because it not only is it electric, which bodies Spidey, but his Pokemon also have access to Sonic Boom, which does 20 damage, which can take us out very, very fast. We start off the battle with Bubble Beam for a few turns against the Voltorb. Then the Electric was next, and we also take that out with a couple Bubble Beams. Manectric comes in and bodies us. So we send out Daddy next and go for Scratches, which obviously didn't do much. He takes Daddy out and then Wimpy shortly after. I definitely was going to need some more levels for this gym. Not only that, but I needed a move that could do more to these Pokemon. Well, Nakata learns Mud Slap at level 31, so that could help a lot. Not only with damage, but it can lower the accuracy of his Pokemon. We learn Mud Slap and try this battle again. The battle starts off the same when we get to the Manetric and go for Mud Slaps. It does some good damage every time and makes him miss a good amount of moves. We also made him use all those potions. Magneton was next and we had no more Mud Slaps, so Nakata couldn't do much and then Spidey comes in and falls as well. Well, 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 I still need more levels, I guess. With Spidey level 30, we make it to the Magneton with close to full health. Two turns of Bubble Beam takes the Magneton down to 1 HP, and since we are paralyzed and slower now, I go for Quick Attack to take him out. With that, we get our third Gym Badge finally. We had to then backtrack a little bit to get an HM Slade to continue through the game. Once we were able to smash some rocks, we made our way through the next couple of routes and stop at a random person's house to take a nap at their table. We make our way through the next route covered in ash. Hopefully we'll be able to shower soon because this is just nasty. Sorry this is the boring part of the game, I don't know what else to talk about. Oh, we made it to the city, we gotta go through another route before story. Oh look at that, here's some story stuff and they're gone, well... Let, let's just skip ahead a bit. Oh hey, some bad guys we get to battle. Sweet! We start off the battle against Maxi with Spidey and go for a few bubble beams to take it out eventually. Zubat was next and to save Spidey from taking damage, I switched out to Daddy and take some hits and weaken the Zubat for us. We then sent out Wimpy who weakened the Zubat a little more with Tackle. Then it was Spidey's turn to finish it off. Camerupt was up last and instantly follows one bubble beam and we defeat Maxi. We make our way down the volcano and make it to the fourth gym leader. Now this was finally a battle that was easy. Spidey was able to one-shot everything up until the Torkoal. Torkoal can be very annoying because it has a tract and overheat. But the good thing is, is that it is female and so is Spidey, so it wasn't able to immobilize us. We take it out with two bubble beams to get our fourth gym badge. We had to head back to the beginning of the game so we can take on our dad and show him who's boss. But before we could do that, we had to get past some gym trainers, which for some reason I couldn't do. This dude Swellow botted me every freaking battle. I had no choice but to grind up a bit so we can live a hit to get a sand attack off so he would luckily miss on the Surskit. It took so many tries, but we finally get a run where we were able to do it. Now that that's over, we can actually take on our dad. This battle wasn't easy either. His Spindit was able to live a few hits from us and would confuse us with Teeter Dance every time. We'd eventually take it out, be super low health, then the Vigorath would come in and I would send out Daddy to lower his accuracy, but I found out he has Fan Attack, which can't miss, so my strategy was kinda bad. Daddy falls and then Whippy comes in and is able to poison him and dodge some attacks to eventually take him out, but Lunoon comes in next and then just demolishes the rest of my team. I tried this battle many, many times and just couldn't do much, so after a long time and many tries when our team reached level 40 we actually stood a chance. We take out the Spinda and Vigorath with Spidey and still have a lot of health. We send in Daddy against the Lanoon and go for Mud Slaps to lower its accuracy and do some damage. Daddy is able to end up taking it out in yellow health. Slacking was up at last and I tried to do something with Daddy but he instantly fails. We then send in Wimpy to try to get the poison which we do after a few turns. For some reason Slacking would only go for counter against us so since we weren't able to do much damage to him, he did nothing really back to us. Eventually he goes for Facade to take out Wimpy. But then we send Spidey back in and he is able to get a crit bubble beam to take it out which gives us the win in our fifth gym badge. Right after Wally's dad slash uncle slash guardian whatever he is wants to give us the HM for surf which is very convenient since we needed to continue in the game. We use surf to make our way through another tedious route to get to the weather institute. Once there we find out the place is flooded with team aqua grunts. You get it? Because the team aqua which means water and it said it was flooded. Uh, yeah you know I'll, I'll stop I'll stop. Well, we clean shop with them and kick them out, since they have nothing for the famous Spidey. Right after, Brennan wants to throw down. We put out his fire slug easily with Spidey. Then Pelipper was up and spammed so many protects, which is dumb because it could have taken us out with a couple wing attacks. 
Dumb idiot. Groval was up last and Spidey was able to do some good damage before falling to it. Then Wimpy was next. We get a turn one poison with Poison Sting and finish it off the very next turn. And with that, we defeat Brennan once again. We make it to Fortree City and head to talk to Steven to get some goggles that let us see invisible Pokemon. Isn't that just nifty? We then have to take on the sixth gym leader. Now, I knew this gym was going to give us a ton of problems since literally our whole team is not only weak, but weak to flying types. With our Pokemon at level 45, we decide to try anyways. We take out the Swablu fast with Spidey, but then the Tropius was up next, so I went to Wimpy to get the poison after a few turns, but ultimately fall to him. We send Daddy in to do some neutral damage with Leech Life. Daddy's able to take him down literally to 1 HP, but then once he falls, she heals him up. And then Hearts, which is out to Pelipper. After tons of turns of Protect, he ends up falling, but takes us to red for the Tropius to come in and take us out. We try again at level 48, and we end up with the same result. I knew I needed something else besides just levels. Well, Spidey can learn Blizzard, which could help out tremendously. Tremendously. We venture our way to the next town to go buy it from the shop and oh Really you have to buy our rival to get in? <sighs> All right, let's do this. Oh and great. He has a freaking Tropius the Pokemon we are currently struggling with Well, we start off the battle by going for a ton of poison scenes to take him out Slugma was next and follows the bubble beam Pelipper was next and we end up taking it out with a few bubble beams as well And then Grovile was next we send out daddy to get some mud slaps off on it to lower its accuracy But it doesn't matter as he doesn't miss and finishes him off Then Wimpy comes in and lives one leaf blade and poisons him and then falls the next turn Spidey was next and fails to one shot him and then falls to a crit leaf blade freaking really I just want to buy Blizzard, let me through. We grind up a couple levels and try again. At level 50, Spidey is able to just barely live one Leaf Blade and then finishes off the Grove Isle so we can move on and buy the TM we want. Once we purchase it, we head back to the 6th gym to get our badge. We start off the battle with Spidey and two-shot the Swablu. Tropius comes in and we send out Daddy. Daddy takes him to Yellow Health, which leads life, before ultimately falling to him. But Wimpy is able to come in and take it out. Pelipper was next and we stay in to poison it. Wimpy falls but is able to take down the Pelipper to half health. Spidey was up once again and takes it to red with Bubble Beam and then poisons to finish it off. Skarmory comes in next and starts going for sand attacks. I was about to get so mad since we were confused and had lowered accuracy, but Spidey came through and hit him twice in a row once with Blizzard and then Bubble Beam to take it out. And then Altaria comes in and we hit ourselves in confusion and takes us to red. But then the last turn we had to win, Spidey snaps out of confusion and lands a Blizzard again, luckily to give us the win and another gym badge. Right after, we headed to Mount Pyre to prevent Team Aqua from stealing the red orb and we don't get there in time as they take it and get away. We decide to be a hero and step into the enemy's territory to go stop them. We sneak our way through the Team Magma's base to take on Maxi. We start off with Spidey and get a critical hit one shot on the Mightyena. Then Camerapto is up next and falls to just one bubble beam. Then Crobat comes in and then confuses me and we hit ourselves. So instead of risking dying, the next turn I switch out to Daddy and sack him. Then we go into Wimpy to try to get a string shot off so we can outspeed with Spidey, but we aren't able to get it off before Wimpy dies. Then we send out Spidey and get confused again, but this time we are able to fight through it and get a blizzard off to win. Now it was time to fight through Team Aqua's base and try to stop them too. The admin starts off with the Mighty as well. We get off a couple of bubble beams to take him out to red, and then he confuses me. So instead of risking hitting myself, I switch out to daddy. We get a leech life off and finish off the Mineana. Golbat was next and eats a bubble beam and almost kills us with wing attack. But we live and finish it off the very next turn, and after that it was time to surf our way to Moss Deep City, home of the 7th gym leader. Now this battle is pretty tough because it's a double battle in Emerald, and also they have 4 Pokemon which is an oofy poopy. But we have 3 Pokemon we are using who are bug Pokemon so we we should be fine, right? Well, I was wrong. I start off the battle by going for Blizzard since it's super effective on both of them. The Clay Doll eats it and we miss the Zatu. And then they do a ton of damage back to Spidey, which is unfortunate for the rest of the battle. The next turn we are able to freeze both somehow with Blizzard, but my luck wasn't all the way there because the Zatu thaws out instantly. And then from there we literally can't do much and our whole team ends up falling. I legit had no idea what to do from here because we just couldn't do enough damage with Spidey. And they would always go for him since he was the only real threat to their team. No no moves I could learn would help. I was forced to grind a lot and try from so many levels. And then finally at level 65 we had a chance. We start off the battle with a bubble beam on the clay doll and take him very low. And then Nikata is able to finish him off with a leech life. Lunatune comes in and we do the exact same thing to him. Scary thing is that Zatu starts setting up with Calm Mind so we needed to win this battle very fast. 
Solak was up and we are able to take it out with just one bubble beam. Thank God we were able to do it with one move because Zatu bodies daddy, which is good. He attacked him instead of Spidey. We send out Wimpy and go for Blizzard with Spidey and take him down to yellow. He attacks Wimpy thankfully. Spidey is left and we miss a Blizzard and he thankfully confuses me and giving me a chance. Then the next turn we are able to fight through it to land a Blizzard to win. Right after, we had to team up with Steven to fight Team Magma real quick. This battle was very intense because we lost Spidey pretty fast and we are left with Daddy against a Crobat. But Steven finally makes a smart play and thunderbolts it with Aggron. Thank you, Steven, for not screwing me. I do really appreciate it. He ends up giving us the TM dive to go stop Team Aqua from waking up Kyogre. We venture out to go do that and we have to fight Archie. He starts off with his mighty N and we bubble beam him instantly he confuses us. All this confusion nonsense is really getting annoying. We switch out to Daddy to use some leech life and we end up finishing it off. Crobat was up next and we switch into Spidey who was able to one shot with Blizzard. Sharpedo was last and we basically just bubble beam him until he falls. Well, all this was pointless because he is still able to wake up Kyogre. Great. Well, since both legendaries are awake, we had to travel to the top of Sky Pillar to call upon their dad. He is able to come down from the heavens and stop the fighting and the region is saved. Look at us being the hero. Well, it was time to take on Juan at the final gym. He starts off with Love Disc and we do absolutely no damage before it confuses me, so we are forced to switch out to Wimpy. After using some poison stings for a crap ton of terms, we are not able to poison it and Wimpy ends up falling. We go back to Spidey and finish it off with a couple of Bubble Beams. Wishcast was next and we are able to two shot it with Bubble Beam as he sets up a rain dance. Celia was up next and falls after a few turns of Bubble Beam and Bubble. Crawdot came in and we switch out to Daddy. We spam Leech Life on it for a while until it eventually takes us out with Crab Hammer. But then we send out Spidey to finish it off the work. King Joe was up and we go for Blizzard since it is our strongest move. He goes for Double Team and I was already getting annoyed with him. We land a second blizzard and freeze him which ultimately leads us to victory and our 8th gym badge. From there it was time to head to victory road where we meet up with Wally. This battle wasn't too hard so I won't go over much. Our levels and moveset was enough to basically run through his whole team with not much struggle. From there we make our way through victory road and arrive at the elite 4. Before we enter we needed to do some prepping. I wanted to grab a few TMs to help us through the league because without them I don't think we can win with what we have. We head to the bandit ship to grab ice beam so we didn't have to rely on RNG to land blizzard and we get more PP this way. We then headed to the top of Mount Pyre to grab the TM Shadow Ball. Then we head to Route 123 to grab Giga Drain from a random lady. After grabbing those few TMs, we are ready to take on the league. First up was Sydney with his Dark Types. We start off the battle with Spidey and go for a couple Bubble Beams to take it out. Then we switch out to Daddy to go against the Absol. We learn Fury Cutter through a Move Learner, so we go for a couple of those until Daddy was taken out. Spidey comes in and finishes off the Absol. Then Shifty was up and we Ice Beam it, taking it to Red Health. He confuses us, but the next turn he heals and we get a Bubble Beam off. Then to prevent us from hitting ourselves, I switch out to Wimpy. He isn't really able to do anything and was really just used as a sacrifice. We send Spidey back in to take out the Shifty with another Ice Beam. Cacturn was up and falls instantly just to one Ice Beam. Crawdent was next and is able to get a Sword and Strength off taking us to 31 health before we can take it out and win the battle. Phoebe was next, we start off the battle with Bubble Beam before she can confuse us. We switch out to Wimpy instantly and go for some Poison Stinks. We poison on the first turn. Wimpy ends up falling from a Shadow Punch and are forced to send out Daddy. Daddy has Shadow Ball so he is able to 3 shot the Dusclops. The second Dusclops comes in and takes us out with a couple of Ice Beams before Daddy can take him out. We send out Spidey and go for a couple of turns of Bubble Beam to take it out. Bayonet was up and I knew I needed some more health back so I went for Giga Drain, but the Bayonet was still able to take us out to red before we take it out with Bubble Beam. The second Bayonet was up and ends up finishing us off. The only way to win this battle was to make Daddy a bigger threat. We needed to be able to do more damage with Shadow Ball so that meant we had to level up some more. Finally level 76 there was a lot of hope. We make it to the Sable Eye and it starts off with Double Team. Oh boy. We get lucky and are able to land a few Metal Claws off before Daddy falls. We then send in Spidey and double team some more, but we land a Bubble Beam to take it out. The Bayonet comes in and we land a Lucky Crit to take it out with one shot and we win the battle. Our next battle was Glacia. Since Spidey had Giga Drain, I didn't think it would be that hard of a battle since she has three water types. We take out the Celio pretty fast, but then Glalie comes in and I went to Daddy to try to get some Metal Claws off, but he falls before he can do anything. We send Spidey back in and two shot it with Bubble Beam. The second Celio comes in and we are able to two shot it. Then the second Glalie comes in and it takes three bubble beams to take it out before it takes us to yellow. Walworn is up last and we switch into Wimpy to try to poison it, but we can't as it two shots us. We send out Spidey again and go for Giga Drain taking it to half. But he goes for Body Slam and eats his berry so we aren't able to finish it off the next turn and we are out of Giga Drains. 
She heals up and we are out of luck since we can't do much damage to it with any of our other moves. We had no choice but to grind up a bit so we can do some more damage with Giga Drain. The next time we take her on, we are able to make it to the wall room with one more Giga Drain than last time. Once we run out of Giga Drains, we are able to fight through being paralyzed and take it out with a Bubble Beam to win the battle. The next battle was Drake with his full Dragon type team. We are able to one shot his first three Pokemon with Ice Beam. Then his Kingdra comes in and we take it to half with a crit Giga Drain. We take it to red with Ice Beam and then he full restores. So I decided to switch out to Wimpy since he was Dragon Dancing to try to get a poison off. We were able to get it first turn. So from there I thought I could try and lower its speed with String Shot enough for Spidey out speed. We sent out Daddy to stall the poison a little bit and we then we send Spidey back in and finish the Kingdra with just one Ice Beam. Then Flygon comes in and falls to one Ice Beam as well and we win the battle. Now it was time for the champion Wallace. This is very anticlimactic. Like I just want to fight Steven. Well, anyways, we are able to take out the Warlord with a couple Giga Drains. Tentacruel was up, and this thing alone was our downfall. We couldn't do any damage to it with any of our moves. It would also take us out really fast with either Sludge Bomb or Hydro Pump. I basically had to grind to level 100 with everyone, because at this level, Daddy could do exactly half Tentacruel's health with Shadow Ball. Even then, I needed him to at least miss one Hydro Pump since it would two-shot us. After many, 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 many soft resets, since he would always land Hydro Pump, we got a run where he finally misses and we can pick up the kill. Then Ludicolo comes in and we leech life it with Daddy to slowly take it out. Wishcast was next and we take it out with a singular Giga Drain. Gyarados comes in and falls to just two Ice Beams. Milota comes in and we send in Wimpy to try and poison it. We are able to, but we at least get some damage off. Spidey was up and got poisoned instantly from Tossic. From here, it was a race to the finish to see who would fall first, me from the poison stacking or Milotic. The thing was that it had recovered, so it could recover a lot of the damage I was doing to it. But after a while, we got really lucky to get a crit to kill and win the battle. And with that, we become champion with our full team of weak bug Pokemon. That was definitely a harder challenge, but I had a ton of fun recording this one. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate everyone's support on these videos because they take a very long time to make. Make sure to slap that like and subscribe button down below if you like this video. Also, comment suggestions on other challenge videos you would like to see in the future. With that, I love you all and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.